We operate on the premise that TV ain't brain surgery. That it's as simple as just turning on the camera and asking questions. We've traveled all over this state. When I first got here from Tennessee, I had the first thing I learned was how big California is. I always thought San Francisco was in Northern California. Of course, it's in the northern part of Central California. One third of our state is north of San Francisco. And I must say the northern third of our state is probably my favorite part because it's, it definitely uh, marches to the beat of its own drummer. Uh, I'll give an example. We were visiting up at uh, Folsom Prison. Anybody here? No, I'm sorry. Not here. Uh, I'm sorry. Folsom Prison, our state's second oldest prison. Anybody know the oldest? San Quentin, right. He used to be a prison ship out in the harbor of San Francisco Bay. Anyway, we're in, in, San, in, in, in Folsom, and the warden had given us the tour, and after the tour, I asked him if I could uh, go out by myself into the prison yard. It's quality time with these fine young men in uh, California. He says, I went and all gathered around, a couple hundred. Uh, oh man, we were talking, and they were all saying, well, Bowser was simply, uh, we, we, we can't uh, get California's gold on television here inside the prison. I said, that's what we miss more than anything else. Uh, <laughs> said, we used to gather around the TV set in the living room with our grandmothers every Sunday night to watch California's gold. I said, fellas, if you'd been watching California's gold with your grandmothers, you wouldn't be in Folsom prison today. But, get back to the warden after this whole visit, and I said, There's, you don't get the public television. She, he said, no, but we do have a closed circuit television, and the prisoners have their own closed circuit television station that they run. They, they host the shows, like what's happening in Folsom today. On social activities. Uh, that's on the menu for tomorrow. And so I quickly said, well, let's, uh, what if we donate all of our tapes to you and you can show the tapes on the closed circuit station? Well, he thought that was a great idea. I thought it was an inspired idea. My cameraman, Luis Fuerte, I could tell by looking at it that he did not think this was such a great idea. So. As we're getting in the car and driving away from Folsom, I said, what, what was the matter with that idea? He said, well, think about the last program we did. Well, the last California school we had done had been up in Sierra County. Sierra County is one of those counties that prides itself on not having a single stoplight in the entire county. It has one blinking caution light, but it is, they, it is not a stoplight. It is merely a caution light. They also do not have a single incorporated town in the entire county, including Downeyville, the county seat. It's unincorporated. And I had been standing in Downeyville with this little old lady out in front of her little Queen Anne home, and she had said on the air, she said, oh, we, we all just love living in Downeyville. Said, it's just like a throwback to the old days. Said, it's so wonderful here. Said, Everybody knows everybody else. We all love each other. Said, this is such a wonderful little town that we leave the keys in the car at night. <laughs> we don't even have to lock our doors. Really. So you get the idea. These guys in Folsom writing down Downeyville, first stop when they get out. So we ended up sending a selected series of programs to Folsom. Uh, over the years, we've traveled all over California, from the redwoods to the sand dunes to the deserts to the mountains to the cities. We've had amazing experiences. We've climbed to the top and walked over the top span of the Golden Gate Bridge. We've traveled down deep inside, working gold mines. Uh, we, 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 we've experienced and seen things that I still have to pinch myself sometimes to believe that I've had the opportunity to do it. But when you come all of that, it really boils down to the people we've met, to the experience we've had, to the extended family we have created. So now when I travel around, I always have a place to stay at a home-cooked meal, and I have opened for those invitations as the <laughs> ends for home-cooked meals. Um, 
stories uh, multiply and interconnect with each other and it just keeps getting better. I think the strangest uh, question I get, I don't think people really think before they ask it, they'll go, you've been doing this for so long, uh, aren't you about to run out of story ideas? And you know, when you stop to think about it, we're talking about California here. If you told me right now that the rest of my life I couldn't leave a 50 mile radius from where we're standing right now to do my stories, it wouldn't bother me a bit. There's enough material right here in this 50 mile radius to keep me busy the rest of my life. Uh, people, I think we, I don't know, I'd say in this room there are probably more people planning on going to vacations to London, Rome, Paris, or some exotic place on the beaches in Mexico than there are spending time in Bakersfield or Santa Barbara or some other place here, you know, right in our own next door, back door. People come to California from all over the world and we take it for granted many times. Uh, there is so much to see and do here that we are never going to run out of stories. We're never going to run out of places to go and, and people to meet. Uh, usually I open up for questions. This is not really set up for questions. I have a lot more that I can talk about. We're on a 30 minute, I've been given 31 minutes actually. Uh, do we have any questions from anybody before I, yes ma'am? Can I take your picture with me? Can you take your picture with me? I think we can do that later on. Are you going to, a home cooked meal comes with that? <laughs> Thank you very much. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. No. There has there been a show I wanted to do that I've never, I haven't been allowed to do. No, but usually we don't do stories on what it's like to spend the night in a ten thousand dollar a night hotel suite or something like that. We uh, I think part of the success of our series is that we don't interview movie stars or politicians. Uh, <laughs> and, Pretty simple stuff. Yes, sir. Why are you like Fresno? It's over to Fresno. I love Fresno. I, I love Fresno. I eat fast food in Fresno every time I come here, and Bakersfield as well. And we just uh, we're getting ready in two weeks to do a story in Hanford, a one-hour road trip in Hanford. We just finished doing a one-hour road trip to Lodi. Uh, I was forced to drink a lot of wine in Lodi. <laughs> but you know, Lodi also was the location of the first A&W root beer band in the world. In Lodi, California. And they got an A&W root beer player. And I said on the air, I thought I was going to get excited about where I am drinking root beer. <laughs> uh, so they all kind of moved in the trailer where you go. We just finished doing a one hour uh, trip to Stockton. We spent a day on the campus, did a one-hour special on the campus of UC Davis. Uh, and we've done lots of programs on, uh, at, at Cal Poly uh, San Luis Obispo. We did a program on their student, uh, their student farm on their ag campus that has the agriculture that grows the fruits and vegetables and, and have a cooperative with the, with the citizens in the San Luis Obispo area. We just did the same thing in Redland with the citrus cooperative where they're trying to save the citrus groves, the oranges, and they've set up a cooperative that supports the small citrus farmers, and, uh, and it's just wildly successful uh, with the locals and making a big difference with the citrus 